Why you see people are rioting? It's because they don't have that love. They don't love their country. That's our gospel, and the, you should also uh, teach it to others. Should uh, spread it to the whole country. Yes, the chairman of PLU, Toyota, alias Nwajira, who also doubles as the president's brother, came on to caution Ugandans not to take what Kenyans did. We all know that Nwajira is a chairman of PLU, an organization aimed at catapulting Moses Kenugaba to be the next president after his own father. And they held a meeting somewhere talked about on how Uganda should desist from engaging in riots and picketing because uh, uh, saying that p picketing is a sign of not liking the country. We must ask ourselves why is family members, especially those ruling the country, coming out to comment on this, on what happened in Kenya? Because they know that the, the same things that happen in Kenya can happen in Uganda. I keep on telling people that in Uganda we are under family rule. We are family members preside over all of us in, in the country. So in this episode, I've come to talk about why Michael Nwajira, the chairman of PLU, is coming out to caution the youth not to engage in picketing, yet it is a constitutional right. Why is he coming out at this mature time? And most importantly, the certain matures we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please add on to YouTube. Type in Sula Mawagali. There's a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So, the chairman of PLU, Michael Nwajira, alias Toyota, came out to announce that Ugandans must desist to engage in demonstrations and picketing, that picketing is a sign of not liking the country. And it caught me by surprise. You know, these people think that all Ugandans are stupid. Nwajira coming out to comment on what happened in Kenya, he knows that the same thing can happen in Uganda and they can threaten their family rule. We are ruled by a, f a certain family where all Ugandans must subjugate I keep on telling people that the colonialists came here. They were the very few in our country, but they ruled us for more than 69 years until when we woke up and said enough is enough. This is happening now where all Ugandans are subjugated by a particular family. That's why family members are in PLU. Family members are in NRM. Okay, Salim Saleh is northern Uganda. Every Ugandan must be subjugated. By Toyota coming out to talk about what happened in Kenya, he knows that what happened in Kenya, if it happens here, it can threaten their family rule. If you think I'm lying, let me first play with the tape when Toyota was talking about this. Here is the tape. I believe we can build this nation. It's our country. First, as patriotic, you must love your country. Why you see people are rioting? It's because they don't have that love. They don't love their country. That's our gospel, and the, you should also uh, teach it to others, should uh, spread it to the whole country. The reason I'm saying that uh, they are not patriotic, you have seen people who demonstrate and they demolish buildings, they, they kill each other because they don't love their country, they don't love one another. That's why I'm saying you have to be patriotic. If you're patriotic, you love your country. So that is Toyota, Michael Nwagia, saying that the people who rioted in Kenya, they don't, have their, they don't love their country. This is utter hypocrisy. But by Nwajira coming out to say that the people who came out to riot on the streets don't love their country, he's lying. Because he fears that the same thing can happen in Uganda and they can threaten their existence as a family rule. By Toyota coming out to say that the people who riot, who, riot, who demonstrate, who come out to ask for what they deserve, don't like their country, is lying. These are the proponents of the government which killed one million Ugandans in Luero, Bush, 
They killed people. Yet it is the same person who comes out to say that people who riot don't like their country. Yet their brother went in the bush, killed very many people. There he is good. Okay? These people are indoctrinating us that when you come out on the streets to riot, we don't like, we, we, we are uh, uh, opponents of our country. That way, when we rise up to demand things we want, we don't like our country. They are indoctrinating the youth because they know they are on the table eating. And as the youths are seated down, we are waiting for the bones to, to be thrown. Every Ugandan youth must know that it is time we break the table so that we can sit on the table and decide on what is good for our lives. Toyota must desist to say that people who come out on the streets to riot or to demonstrate don't love the country because their father Kaguta Museven killed millions of Ugandans in a pretext of liberating Uganda. There is not there he liked the country. So why does he think that if they did not stand the nonsense in the 80s, we shall be able to stand the same nonsense they fought against. Because right now, there are abductions, massive po poverty, okay? There is no democratic processes. And he thinks that we must sit down not to demonstrate or not to riot when our country is being taken to the dogs. No, 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 no. Toyota, you must know that this country does not belong to you guys. It does not belong to Museven. It does not belong to uh, Qatar Museven. It does not belong to Mohoz. In fact, Toyota, come here. Okay. One more. Those whips are for you. So, these people must stop telling us that when youths come out to riot or to demand what they are supposed to get in their country, they don't love their country. Okay. They are, they are trying to paint a picture that they are our saviors. They are trying to paint a picture that they are, they, they are supposed to lead this country till the day of judgment. Okay? The day Ugandans will know that we are under family rule is the day we shall stop taking this nonsense from these people. Where the president is General Kaguta M7, the commander, defense forces, is his son, Mozika Rugaba. Okay? The person who's like the vice president is Salim Saleh. That's where everyone runs to Salim Saleh whenever, whenever there is a problem. Even in the opposition, they are creating their peer, PLU after killing opposition parties. Okay? Ugandans must wake up. It's the times we demand for what we deserve as a country. We must not sit and, and see as our country is being taken to the dogs. So Toyota should desist from lecturing people on how to love, they should love their country. No one teaches someone to love their country. Someone loves their country depending on the leadership which is there, depending on what he gets from the country, depending on the level of ground everyone is. So Toyota should stop lecturing the people who are demanding for what they want. Of course, that's my opinion. Do drop me a comment by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that you can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.